All right, show one. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakhadash. That's all praises to the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful light creature in word and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazaba. Uh, in a great millstone Arizona camp, Lord Will with another video to edify. And um I was reading the book of Revelation, you know, and I got to the twenty first chapter. And man, you know, you read those things, that's what that's where you see, you know, the benefits of us uh you know doing this work. You know, the Lord, you know, giving us our, our reward. And uh, you know, got me excited, so I wanted to go into it. So this is uh, Revelation 21, and I'm going to start at 17. It says, I'll start at uh, 16. It says, um, in the city lieth, it says, in the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as a breadth, and the measure of the city with, the, it says, and he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlogs. It says, the length and the breadth and the height are of it are equal. It says, and he measured the wall of thereof a hundred and forty four cubits, a hundred forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is the that 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 is of the angel, right? A hundred and forty four cubits. What is what it what is referring to is the measure of the physical temple, but also is referring to the elect. Right, and you can go into uh, Revelation the seventh chapter to prove that. Right, Revelation seven and uh, four. It says, "And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of the of all the tribes of the children of Israel." So that measure is is that that measure of those men, right? The measure of the elect. Right, you can go even further. And it said of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? So there's no other nation that's going to be brought into that. This is talking about the Israelites, right? This is uh, 1 Corinthians 3. And 1 Corinthians 3 and 17. And it says, uh, it says, um, and the way of peace, is this is the right one, no, it's Romans. Slip for too much. First Corinthians 3 and 17, it says, if any man defile the temple of the Most High, he, him shall the Most High destroy. It says, for the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple you are, you see? The, real, the, the, the first temple, the most important temple is the temple of the elect. Right, the body of the elect, because through them, that's where the nation's coming back. Really, through us doing what we're doing, we're showing forth that spiritual house that the scriptures talk of, man. Not built with man's hands, but with the Most High's. We were all fashioned in the in the in the in the hands of the Heavenly Father, right? Before before the foundation of world of the world, right? But this is a. Uh, going on right that 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 temple like i made a point going back to revelation 21 and uh 21 and 17 that that 144 cubits is going back to the 144,000, right the elect hey right? we just read the which temple of the most high you are right so you're the temple of the most high each brother in this thing you're a representation of the temple of the lord because what you swept off out the wicked and all you leave in the temple are the holy things you built yourself up you, you garnish yourself with righteousness that the most high can come in and sub with you this is this is what we do right this is uh first peter's chapter two First Peter chapter two and um, start at five. It says, "And ye also, 
as lively stones or built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You see? So each brother in this thing is a temple of himself. This is why it's so important to stay on point. Because, you know, the Lord comes and sups with brothers, man. The scriptures tell you it's not ye that speak it, but the spirit of the Lord that speaks within you. Right? So the Lord has used your, your flesh to house a righteous spirit and to house his word. So you got to stay on point. Right? So going back to Revelation uh, 21 and verse uh, 18. And it says, um, it says, in the building of the wall, uh, going back into the kingdom of heaven, right? It says, in the building of the wall, of it was of jasper, and the city was of pure gold, like unto clear glass. You know, going into the, the kingdom of heaven, man, the Lord, it's, 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 hey, Lord willing, I'm one of the brothers that, that get that, man. And brothers on the other side that listen to this video, you should feel the same way. Lord will you be a brother? Man, hey, this, this is what we're, we're working for. Right? This is what we're working for, to be shown righteous in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, to be shown that we were worthy to be in his kingdom, to, <laughs> to be able to see this. Right? Can you imagine this? It's verse 18. In the building of the wall, of the wall of it was of jasper. Look up these stones, man. And Jasper has a beautiful dark red, right? Dark reddish brown, right? Color is beautiful. It's beautiful. And, and some of the most expensive Jaspers have the best tone of it. It's, it's an amazing looking color, man. Imagine that. It, 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 said, it says, verse 18, in the building of the wall of it was of jasper and a city of, of gold like unto clear glass. Can you imagine how pure the gold had to be to be like unto pure glass? Right? You can't, you can't, uh, you can't imagine these things properly. Imagine, imagine that, bro. And to get to get to this, man, you gotta you gotta be willing to go through everything because this is an amazing reward. And it says, um, verse 19, it says, and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. First, uh, the first foundation, uh the first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony and chalcedony. Is a is a very beautiful light blue. You know the best specimens are 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 are, are very uh, transparent light blue. It is it's like you're looking into a clear sky, man. And the stone has a very very calming effect. It says um. Chalcedony in the fourth of emerald. It says in the fifth of sardonyx, right? Which uh pure sardonyx, uh pure sardonyx, right? This is this is a form of sardonyx. You know, this is it, it comes banded. It has a, a it has a pure sardonyx has a a lightish brown hue, right? Brown reddish hue. It's transparent, right? It says um. Verse verse twenty, the fifth sardonyx, the the sixth sardis, the seventh uh, chrysalis, chrysolite, the eighth barrel, the ninth topaz, the tenth a chryso uh, chryso chrys chrysoparis, uh, the the eleventh a janus, and the twelfth an emerald an amethyst, man. Right, and this is going back to when the scripture saying verse uh, Isaiah sixty. Get this Isaiah sixty, because the Lord promised that He would build us up and make us beautiful. He said He was going to beautify the habitation of His feet. Right. This is uh, Isaiah sixty, 
pages are sticking together. Isaiah 60 and 17. And it says, um, I started uh, 15. It says, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Right? It says, thou, thou also shalt suck the milk of the Gentiles and shalt suck the breasts of kings. And it's not talking about, you know, drinking out milk and, and, and sucking on physical breasts. It's really talking about, uh, uh, you know, being nourished by the nations, right? That's what milk and, and breasts are for, is to, for nourishment. And thou shalt, and thou shalt know that I, Yahweh, and thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the whole, the, the mighty one of Jacob. It says, for brass will I bring gold, right? This is the aid. Hey, the Lord is going to fully upgrade us, right? Listen to this. It says, for brass, I will bring gold. That's an upgrade. And for iron, I will bring silver, upgrade. And for wood, brass, upgrade. And for stone, it says, and for the stones, iron, upgrade. It says, uh, I will also make thy officers peace and all thine exactors righteousness, right? So this is what the Lord is going to do for us. This is um, Isaiah, Isaiah 54. Look at this, Isaiah 54 and 11. And it says, uh, O thou afflicted, tossed with the tempest, it says, and not comforted, behold, and who was the afflicted to tossed with tempest? It's the Israelites. Who was not comforted? Israelites, man. Nobody, like the scripture say, who go about to ask thee, O Jerusalem, how thou, go, how thou doest? Nobody did that for us. When they go to these, uh, uh, you know, world economic forums, they're not talking about how the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are on the bottom. They need help. Right? When you go to the United Nations, they're not talking about how uh, this devil's consistently killing niggas on the street. Nobody, nobody cares about us. Only the Lord cares about us. It says, I will lay thy stones. It says, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires. Isn't that what we just read? Of all the all the foundations that the, that the temple of the Lord is going to have, the kingdom of the Lord is going to have. That city, Jerusalem, is going to have, right? It says, um, and when you really go into it, all those stones are the stones of the ephod going for the 12 tribes of Israel, right? So back in uh, Isaiah 54 and 11, it says, O thou afflicted, tossed with the tempest, tossed with tempest, and not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires. I'll make thy windows agite, right? And go into agites, man. That one of my favorite agite is moss agite, man. And um, some of the best specimens you can find of moss agite legit looks like you're looking up at from the bottom of a, of a lake, right? And it's it's beautiful. Imagine you having a window, you know, Esau with his with his bullshit in his churches, those stained glass windows, man. We're gonna have Precious stones for our stained glass windows. This that's how real it's gonna be, bro. You gotta, you, hey, this is what we're working for, man. The Lord is gonna give us a great, a great, uh, amazing uh, reward for doing this work. Hey, believe in that, man. The Lord is a, 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 who can, who can, who can repay like the Lord, man, who owns everything. It says, uh. It says, and all thy children shall be taught of Yahweh. It says, and great shall be the peace of thy children. Right? And we don't have peace now. So this, this is even more amazing that the Lord is going to give us this. So let me go back to this. This is um back in uh, Revelation 21 and 21. It says, and the 12 gates were 12 pearls, 
every several gate was a, was a one pearl. It says, um, it says, in the street of the city was pure gold as it wore transparent glass, bro. That's a hundred percent pure gold, polished, perfect. You imagine looking down at your, you imagine walking in the kingdom of heaven, right? Right? The, the city of the most high. And you look down and you can see your face in pure gold. And you're walking on pure gold, right? Walking on it. Because that's that's what royalty is going to get. That's what the Lord gets. And we're going to be joint heirs with him, man. It says, um. It says, uh, it says, and I saw it, no, no temple therein for Yahweh almighty and the lamb are the, are the temple of it. You see, right? So I'm going to, uh, it says, um, and the city had no, had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it. And there's certain stones that emit their own light. Right. One of them that I can think of right now is, uh, it's called Loper, uh, Loperite, Right. And when you pick up the stone, it looks like nothing. It looks like it's just normal rock. But when that UV light hits it, right? And the scriptures tell you that the sun, that the moon is going to, the moon is going to uh, shine as the sun. And the sun shall shine uh, brighter, basically. Right? And I, I think I had that scripture. But um, Loper light, right? If, the, if you have enough rate, uh, UV, UV light hitting it, <laughs> it, it 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 glows, bro. Bright. It glows bright. And if the moon is gonna be shining that much more, imagine all those stones that emit their own light that we're gonna have in the kingdom of heaven, just on the buildings, on on on, on the on the on the street, the foundations as we read that emit their own light. Imagine when the moon hits that. Right. It says um. Verse 23, it says, this, it says, the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine, shine in it, for the glory of the Most High did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. So you can connect that to Isaiah 60. And uh, Isaiah 60 and 19. And it says, it says, uh, it says the sun shall be no more. It says um, the sun shall be no more th th thy light by day, neither brightness, neither neither for brightness shall the moon give give light unto thee, for Yahweh shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy power, uh, thy glory. You see, the Lord is going to shine on us forever. Right. It says um. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall the moon withdraw withdraw itself, for Yahweh shall be thine everlasting light. It says, "Is in the days of thy mourning shall be ended." You see, the days of our mourning is going to be ended, man. You think we're going to be crying, waking up like that, man? Hey, scripture saying the Book of Psalms, we're going <laughs> to sing songs upon our bed. It's no longer going to be waking up like. Fuck, I got to go to work. We're going to be woken up in, 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 in great peace, man. Hey, right? so much so that the scriptures talk about this, this, this captivity, what we went through here is never going to come into our mind again. Never going to come into our mind again, bro. Can you imagine that? As much as fucked up shit happened to us here, imagine us being in the kingdom and never having... And it being so great that this stuff doesn't even come to mind. Hey, you can go to go to the best vacation you can in the world, on, on your best day here. All right? Be surrounded by, by beauty everywhere. People catering to you, and hell is still coming to your mind. All right? It's Isaiah 4. And four, it says, 
when Yahweh shall have washed away the filth of, thy, of the daughters of Zion, he shall have purged the blood and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem, right? Going into our wickedness, right? Taking away our sin. It says, uh, from the midst thereof, by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning, right? Going into that judgment, the last judgment is the trump, the, the destruction. It says, and Yahweh will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies, a cloud and a smoke and a smoke by day in a shining and a flame of flaming fire by night going into the chariots over each dwelling place, man. Can you imagine that? For upon all their uh, all the glory shall be a defense. This is what the kingdom of heaven is gonna be like. You're having a chariot of the Lord just sitting above your spot, waiting for you to get a command. This is this is what it's gonna be like. This Hey, this is well, we we're not working for no pennies, bro. We ain't working for, for no fiat dollars. This is the kingdom of heaven, man. This is a great promise that the Lord gave us. It says um uh back in uh Revelation 21 and 24 it says, and the nations of them which have which have said which are saved shall walk in the in the light of it, and the kings of the earth shall do shall shall and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor unto it. Because what the forces of the Gentiles, you get that. This is uh, Isaiah sixty. And five, it says, uh, then thou shalt see and flow together and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. Verse 11 says, it says, therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut no day nor night that men may bring unto unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that their kings may be brought. Meaning the Lord is going to sit here and have these heathen give us the best of everything they have. This is what it's talking about in Revelation, the 21st chapter. It says, um, verse 25, it says, And the gates of it shall be shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. It says, And they shall bring the glory, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. We just read that, man. It says, and there shall in no wise, uh, it said, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever work of the abomination. That's the, all the heathen. The heathen do all those things, right? Defileth and, and make it abomination. You see, the Israelites are going to be washed from that. So we'll be able to go into it, but the heathen will not. Hey, this is the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to have our own corner to ourselves where only we can go that's gonna be beautiful man it says uh or mark it or make it the lie but they which are written in the lamb's book of life you see hey that's that's what's coming for us brothers man you know keep the faith and and and, and fuck all these other niggas that are sitting here you know twisting up the doctrine going off man Preaching otherwise to, than to listen and, and to praise you, how about you, man, shy, and to reverence the words that are written in these scriptures, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to say, call law. You, how about you, man, shy, by Shimmer Kokoda Shalom.